Hello and welcome Neil here from Tykes TV. I've got Dave on, who's just coming from Manflu, so glad that you met it, Dave. And Thank I've you. got Andy. Uh, so Hi. Andy, uh, great to have you both on. A bit of a talk, yeah. I mean, it's, I think we all know that social media and went to meltdown with transfers that won't or did happen kind of thing. So Dave, getting your thoughts, I mean, incomings what came in, we had uh, Adam Phillips who came in permanent. But then when you look at the others have come in on loans with options and all that kind of stuff, what what's your first off, what what's your tech on players coming in at the minute? Uh to be perfectly honest, I know very little about them. Mm. Uh, don't recall seeing any of them play before. Um, not the new lads that came in yesterday anyway, but you know, I'm perfectly willing to give them a chance and see see what they can do for us. I'm not gonna Say that they were bad. It was a bad transfer window in respect to the players we've got in because you know I'm not judging anyone plus in and play, hmm. but um, it, we should have had more than that, definitely more than that, and it was a very very poor show. But strikers, yeah, strikers. We need creativity. Um, I'm not sure this new lad's going to be like him in the middle, but hmm. we lack creativity. Straight, the lightweight. Action in front of goal is very concerning. Uh, so striker coming in was imperative, didn't happen. But if I'm honest, I didn't expect it to happen. It's it's what we come to expect now, you know. Mm. And sadly, we have to rely on the players. Well, that's a bit unfair saying sadly we have to rely on the players we've got. We do have to rely on the players we've got, but sadly we haven't got any backup for for these players. It was good that Hson got his first goal last Saturday against Ipswich. Hopefully that can propel him on and you know give a bit more confidence. Um, don't really want to talk about Norwood after that farcical show mm. the other night. But these players we've got now up front and well every other team have got to step up and show that they can do the job. And a, a few more heads to fit in around them would have been ideal, but it's not happened. And it's it's left a sour taste in a lot of fans' mouths and just losing heart with the club again when yeah. when Duff came in in the summer I thought new beginnings this is this is positive this is good but it's just been a complete reversal you know back end of last season it feels like the back end of last season again now and just losing heart looks like the board aren't interested hmm. you know and yeah, very disappointing but it's Barnsley it, it, it's what we expect yeah, unfortunately, it, it is, isn't it? For, it's happened for the last couple of seasons where transfer windows have come and gone and we, we as fans can see what we need. Even manager to send Andy, he said that yeah. he wanted a, a striker, if if one, if not two, and right wing back. Yeah, we've got, uh, I mean, like like Dave said, we're not knocking players what's come in, you know, they've come in and we want them to do well for Barnes if they're in a red shirt. But mm. again, when you're recruiting players, to come in, but in what position but we are lacking a striker, that for yeah. me is a worrying concern, especially when you look at some players, you know, names have been banded about, like Stockton's and uh, Co uh, I'm trying to think of that lad's name now, that uh, Alpha, Alpha May and stuff like that. There's been like names banded about, yet yeah, they've gone else weird, obviously, at the club, so... <laughs> A bit like Dave, uh, Andy, you're a bit frustrated in recruiting in certain areas. Um, yeah, um, uh, before I get on to that, uh, if I do sound a bit groggy, I do apologize. I think I'm uh starting with man flow, actually. I'm all made up and so thought, so I do apologize <laughs> <laughs> in advance. Um, <laughs> yeah, transfer deadline, um, uh, shocking. Um, I had to vent uh, my frustration out earlier, did a small video on my channel just to vent what I thought, and it's not very often I do that, but it, personally I think it's the worst one we've ever had, and we've had some shockers. Um, again, last minute uh, players coming in, um, that Styles one is a complete joke. They've only uh, got him to sign that extended contract that's a loophole. Let's not uh, mess about on that one. That is just a loophole. That's just so we can get money at the end of his loan at the end of the season. He's not going to be playing for Barnsley again. Um, no strikers coming in. Absolutely atrocious by club. I, I just can't put it into words. Uh, 
frustrated, disappointed and angry. Um, I am. And I'm concerned now that if Duff starts thinking what the hell ever come into, um, it, it, that's going to be a slippery slope, that for manager. Mm. Um, yeah, we've got the layout players that we've got. Whether that's right term, uh, terminology, I, I don't know, but it's obvious we need help up front and I'm just so shocked and appalled. We club, um, we won't link with that. Is it Longstaff at Newcastle? Um, hmm. I don't think we would, I don't think we were going to pay someone to get him on whatever it was. And he's gone to uh, another team now. Um, just, we never change, do we? Uh, it's same old problems over and over again. And these players that's coming in, I hope they're a bit like a utility player who can play up front because if we get injuries now to any strikers that we have got, then we, we are going to be really struggling. Um, I, it's just disgusting. I'm just disgusted with him. Uh, there's no excuse. And it won't just stop transfer deadline. They've had all summer to get this sorted. And it seems like we have the same conversation every mm. season. And whoever's running club, it's it's always the same. It, I, I'm just disappointed with So going up from that day, just it touched on like uh, styles which you all knew about. I mean, half for one, I expected him to go, but I didn't expect him to go in this kind of manner where it's, it went out on loan. But before that, it was, uh, he signed a contract until 2025. But also Wellick as well. All believe that he was going back to Poland. That was his thoughts. And then... He got pulled out out that he's gone to Woodersfield, not a million miles away, dark road, for an undisclosed fee yet again. So, you know, I did a video a bit early on. We all can surmise what that's going to be. It's going to be not what we all expect to be, about £3 million. It's going to be probably way short of that. Again, it's it's frustrating thing about it for me is that it seems to be that we need we need to, I'm not us as fans, but the, the shareholders, need to recoup all money back this season. And it's like, why do you need to recoup it back all this season for? Surely you've got to pl- plan it out and see where we can go over the season. But, but were you surprised on the way that Styles left temporary or whatever it is? Yeah, I thought um, if he was going to go, he'd be gone, you know. And um, there was there was talk being bandied around in the close season about him going to, you know, like uh, the Brighton or somebody. Hmm. Uh, or a newly promoted club, and I thought there was a bit, possibly a chance of that. Um, at the moment, he's not good enough. I don't think for the Premier League, so the Championship is where he belongs at the minute until he can be developed. Um, Millwall, um, I, I I don't know. They always seem to me to be a sort of like hit the ball upfield sort of club and. Not playing through the middle. I'm not sure if they'll play stars in midfield or whether they'll play him at left wing back or you know whether they'll play him at all. But stars is a player that can, you can get on the ball and he gets a bit of space and a bit of time. He can you know he can do some damage. And I don't think that fits into Millwall's game plan. It may have changed it since I last saw them. But um, I I'd have thought he'd have been at a a club like you know someone someone that's renowned for good football. Um, it pains me to say, maybe, maybe someone like you know Sheffield United, hmm. something like that. You know, it's not a it's not a big move for him. Then it's just down the road. Um, they play decent football. They're doing well at the moment, and I think he is a top top of the championship sort of player. And he, you know, we thrive with, um, with with the players they've got at Sheffield United. Hmm. And um, you know, no disrespect to Millwall, I just think it's. It's it's a step up, but it's it's not much of a step up. Hmm. But the manner in of it, it's, it's like Andy says, it's all it's a loophole. He's he's not going to play for Barnsley again. You know that's hmm. quite obvious. It reminded me a little bit of Eki signing the the new deal before he went to Leeds. You know, yeah, you get more money for the exactly. uh, which, You know, I've got no issue with that. But it, it is completely bizarre. It really is. But I stopped trying to understand now. I, brains of this board work because I haven't got a bloody clue. I really haven't. I think the more you try to work it out and more frustrated and more confusing it gets, it's 
you, you look at business models and all and what we've done with, you know, fees we've received. I mean, players that have gone like uh, mutual consent, such as like Dominic Freezer. If it had held on for another month, for would probably been able to get some kind of small fee, but we like letting go by mutual consent. Mm -hmm. Surely you've got to recoup. Lea de Zaka, or be a lay, highly documented about the wages that they're on, let alone with transfer fee bought. So again, it's like emerging money, what yeah. we can ill afford. And what what people what people are just like start to realise now is that look at all that money what we wasted last season through no fault of fans own fault, it was mismanagement at board then, yet we are having to still pay it now this season. And like I say, Andy, it, it, Dave's just gone on about with Styles. Elliot's gone to Huddersfield Town. And yeah. I, I think that signing for them is an absolute steal, a, a, a bargain price for player we're getting. Myself. Yeah, definitely. Um, international player. Um, uh, definitely one of our best players. Um all due respect to people that we brought in to try and cover for him. Um, and again, his injury. Um, me and Maddie, my daughter, were saying uh, that so-called injury that he has picked up, that was at a convenient time. And uh, they're saying that he's ready to go straight into their team. So it's been planned for quite a while. Then. Um, but yeah, um, disappointed with that. Um, Iseka... Um, I said earlier, again, on the video, it, it's not the player's fault because if somebody gave me nine, uh, is it is he on nine grand a week? Reportedly um, in between eight and nine, yeah. yeah. If somebody gave me that just to train with him and not even play in second team, I'd take it. Hmm. So I can't blame it, lad. It, it's club's fault um, for doing that. And somebody's got to be held accountable for decisions like this that is running us into the ground um, but I don't blame Lad at all um, I'd have took it with both hands and I don't like I said I don't blame him um, that's he's, he's probably why he, sorry that, that, that's probably why he's not in a rush to go because I, I wouldn't be you know yeah, he's <laughs> he's what he's there, very um, weird on social media today about oh, I was just thinking. Just to do. All right, it's just set fans that. talking. Uh, I it know, sounds I there's just all sorts of bad stuff going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think him and Duff mm. gets on other really between lines, but uh, you know, <laughs> I, I don't and know. It, it, I think it, I think it, times it, like this, you need a gaffer who's going to be willing to. You know, set standards and say, "Look, I'm Gaffer, you were a player. This is what I expect." And to be fair, I think it might be some of what club's been lacking. But last season or two, yeah. is that someone strong enough managed to turn around and actually have balls to turn around and say, "Look, you're not doing it in training. You're not doing this. You're not going to get picked." Whereas yeah. before, we'd have picked him just because it's a player and is you know with shorty numbers. I mean, it's like going on to player. Um... Playing side of things, uh, I've just come back for under 23s. Mm. Moon's playing for them. Why ain't he gone out? Because mm. it, it, it's shocking. It, it, I don't think he's going to get in for his team. So wh why have we still got him? Why have they tried to get him shipped out? Um, is is yeah. loan window still open or something? Well, end of September. Is it emergency loan or something like that? Is it... I don't know. I don't know how it works, mate, yeah. to be honest. I don't yeah. know if it's, uh, I don't know how foreign market works or. Yeah, there's like so I many think, different I, things, isn't there? Yeah, I think there's something to do with loan, isn't there? I think they can have loans or something, but uh, now the, the, it, it's a complete farce, isn't it? You know, it's like carry on football, isn't it? It's it's shocking. <laughs> carry on football. Well, <laughs> I think that kind of takes us on to like game. I mean, Chef Wednesday coming up, uh, Dave. I think. Oh, I don't know what it's going to be. I mean, I'm going. Um, I don't know what to expect. To be fair, I'm not. I'm not expecting a win. That's for sure. Uh, I mean, people will probably like say, "Yeah, but we we got a draw against Ipswich Town and this and other." But it's completely different. I mean, Hillsborough's a one of them grounds. It's always an hard place to go. Uh, Pain to say, it, but but you know, be supporting that. But they've got Yorkshire Derby and all. It's going to be be more more intense than that. But again, if you come away with a draw, it's a result. But 
we really need to start like stringing things together. You know, I, I just feel for Duff at minute is that what players he's got to work with, he's got to try and make it as best what he can. And again, you look at attacking options, it's like cards you've been dealt with, you just you just get on with it. Mm. Um, I don't know what I mean, Norwood. I was trying to look for that way. Uh, he got sent off with Lincoln. For me, I won't even start him. I won't even start him. I won't I even. I won't, I won't even have him in squad. To be fair, against Jeff Wednesday, I won't even have him in squad. Uh, just because for me, it put a lot of pressure on a lot of young lads. They were already two knocked down, and that even when Gaffer come out said idiotic. We no need for it. So for me, I won't even include uh, Norwood in squad. So Dave, I mean. Chef Wednesday, I mean, what, what's your thoughts on that, mate? It's going to be a, it's going to be tricky at best of times, isn't it? Well, you know, after last Saturday's result at Portman Road, I was quite uh, confident going forward. <coughs> um, I'm not going to take Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, was it Tuesday, was it Wednesday, the game? I'm not going to take that into account because they were the youngsters playing. It wasn't the, the first team. Um, although they did start really well. They, you know, those two stupid mistakes. The defence was all over the shop for the first goal. Walton's error for the second, and obviously, as you said, Norwood gets sent off, which just completely you know, finished the game off. But take, putting that aside, I think the, the, the team will mostly be the same from the, the Ipswich game, apart from obviously Styles, which I didn't watch the game, so I don't know how much of an impact he made, apart from the goal, which was obviously a huge impact. But mm -hmm. for the rest of the game, I'm not sure you know what his performance was like. Obviously, he's got to be replaced. Not going to be easy. Because he is an experienced, he's one of the most experienced players at the club. Um, it's a place where we don't very rarely, we never really get anything there apart from the the win we had there during lockdown. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a tough place to go at the best of times. And, you know, Ed's are going to be down after the transfer window, I think. Uh, fans are, you know, upset, I'll say, but. You know, words I want to use, I'm not going to use. Yeah. I just don't know what it, sort of atmosphere. Obviously, they're going to get behind the, the players, but you know, if if we concede an early goal, then I just think it's yeah, it's going to be curtains and it could get really messy. I wouldn't have Nord in the team. You know, I'd say to him, look after your incident the other night, and he did let himself down. He let the team down. You know, yeah. and the, the youngsters that are playing around him, looking up to him, what sort of an example is that to set? I yeah. take it well clear of the setup for a while. And to be fair, he's not done much anyway. Mm. Uh, but it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be in the match day squad at all for me. But um, we, we've we got to go and put, a, put on a performance now against a team that, uh, you know, are doing well. They had a good result um, last Saturday. Mm. And, um, mm. They're always up for the game against us, just the same as we're up for the game against them. And it's one of those where form goes out the window. Uh, it's just whoever turns up and wants more on the day. But mm, true. I, 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 I never expect to get anything there, if I'm honest. And I certainly don't tomorrow. A draw would be great. But I I don't know what the, the issue is behind the scenes, how happy players are. Um People coming out on social media saying things. There's obviously some sort of unrest. It's obviously mm. having an impact on the players on the pitch, and it's it's not the game you want to go into <laughs> on the back of all that. But at the end of the day, it's a game. It's ninety minutes. It's it's a South Yorkshire derby, and all that matters is what happens in those ninety minutes on the pitch. And I I, I think I don't I don't see us coming away with three points. I'm hoping. We come away with a point, but mm. I'm not hopeful it can worry anything to if I'm being perfectly honest. But a good performance, it'd be good. A good t a team shown would be good. And anything on top of that for me is a is a bonus. Yeah, just going on from Batman on I mean, like what Dave said, via a good performance, you know, we want team to actually turn up as a team and not like on individual have a, a, a great games and others like not because you know. Like what Dave said, V go to Hillsborough. You know, we don't really get a lot from V apart from obviously lockdown, odd result here and V. But you want them to, you'd like to think that they're going to play as a pit for sends up, just just send down and, and move on. It's going to be, there's going to be what 20, 25,000, if not a bit more V. So you'd like to think the atmosphere is going to be decent ish. 
Yeah. Being to see if any players, you know, players what's coming is good to start. So obviously, if you don't start, we'll be on bench because so much of Styles has gone. Uh, Clark could do it. He, he obviously went out. Ellie can't be involved in his first team set up. But where do you see going, you know, against Chef Wednesday? Do you think it's going to be one of them where it's go via, get a performance and come away with a result like a draw and then move on? Or is it going to be different? I think it's going to be a game where it's like that's at wall, isn't it? It's um, it's going to be it's going to be tough tomorrow. Um, first goal is going to play a very very important part, I think, tomorrow. Um, yeah, we, we need to be on point. As simple as that. Um, Defence can't afford to make any slip ups. Midfielders need to support whoever's playing in attack, which I think it'll probably be Aitchinson and. Well, I'm hoping that Tedgy, because um, to what I've seen of him, I think he looks all right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna be a tough one. Whether some new players start, um, I mean, I would hope so. Um, otherwise, what's point to gain them? Just to be up bench waiting. You know, mm-hmm. they've got them for a reason, haven't they? Um, yeah, um, I think a draw at best is going to be. What I'm hoping for, um, smash and grab, draw. I think. Um, don't fill me with confidence from yesterday. Um, going back on it, uh, going back on that. Um, so yeah, I think a draw is probably best that we can hope for tomorrow. I honestly do, but I hope the prove is wrong. I honestly do. A draw, best we can hope for, but hope we can win. So. Thanks, people, for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think and what the result will be. Do you think any new signings will be straight into first team? If not, let us know what you'd like uh, to happen. What, you know, a draw, a win, or is it going to be a bit like what Andy said, backs to wall and, you know, solid defending and see what we can ride it out. So, Dave and Andy, thanks for joining me. I know it's been busy and you're recovering from man flu, so it's been, a, it's been great for you joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, yes. One thing left to say, you Reds.